I want to do something different today. These manifolds, intake manifolds, um, the runners are all supposed to be the same size from this distance to there. Um, I don't know how this manifold can do that with air going in here. This would have to be a lot further away than this for instance from the intake part. So what does it look like inside? Someone told me these are called clamshell manifolds. I don't know if that's true or not. Do they have a different name than just intake manifold? I don't know. I tried to look online. I couldn't find a lot. So this is a spare. I'm going to do something different today. To see what's inside one of these, I'm going to cut the bottom half off and have a look. But you may be interested to see what's inside as well. Don't know if I'm going to, how I'm going to do it, but hey, let's give it a go. Something different. Curiosity. Well, 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 here we go. Chopped in half. So here's the throttle body. I've got it up close. Don't have to look at my face. You've probably had enough of that. So you've got the throttle body here. You've got this distance here. Then it comes up through here into this hollow chamber in the middle. And they all run equal lengths off that chamber. But for me, the distance between here and there, before it goes into number one, is massive difference between number one and number eight. Obviously there's got to be a difference. All these will take first what they can. I would imagine number one and two, etc., would be fighting a lot harder for fuel and air. And it's so rough in here. And then number eight and number seven, who are right on top. And if you were to turbocharge this or supercharge it, all the pressure would be here before it goes into the runner. Because what happens is that the air comes in, out here, into here. And then this, there's a whole chamber here. Then the, from the chamber, the air goes in here, up over the top to the other side, comes out of here, all the way through. So basically you've got a 360 degree runner about, roughly about, before it gets to the heads. That's a long distance, my friends. Um, Chrysler actually knew that they'd get a better performing engine making them shorter because they kept making them shorter right up to 2011, I think was the last one they made, which is about 100 mil shorter runners than the first ones they brought out. So it's quite, quite interesting. So I always wanted to know what was in these and now I know and now you know too. So uh, thanks for watching and like and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. Um, basically this was just curiosity show. Alright, thank you for watching.